The New Balance 2002R Protection Pack was one of the best releases of last year, which led to many in the sneaker game yearning for an encore or sequel. And luckily, the Boston-based brand has answered all of our prayers with a trio pack of new colorways dubbed the Mirage Gray, Vintage Orange, and the one we have in the studio for you guys today, which is called Dark Navy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the New Balance 2002R Protection Pack in the Dark Navy colorway. All right, everyone, so welcome back in. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day out there. My name is Chris Young, and whether this is your first time stumbling upon my channel or you are one of my recurring subscribers, I'd like to welcome all of you in and thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your hectic schedules to let me broadcast my passion of sneakers to all of you. So as I stated in the intro of today's video, today's topic of discussion is the New Balance 2002R protection pack in the upcoming dark navy colorway. So if you guys have yet to join the family, please be sure to leave me a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because we are very close to 5,000 subscribers. And with the help of all of you, we can easily make that milestone come into fruition on this channel. Thank you guys again for watching today. And with all of the housekeeping duties out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into this review. First things first, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this box, which is done up in this very minimalistic style, featuring New Balance's signature gray color, as well as their logo smack dab in the center of the box. And then once we take a look at the sizing tag in the left-hand corner, it does read M2002 RDF, and the official colorway for this sneaker is dark navy and mallard blue. Now, as far as the release information goes on this upcoming protection pack, all three colorways have been released in the EU. However, a US release date is still to be determined. So as I gather more information on a tentative release date for the states, I will be sure to keep all of you guys notified via a pinned comment in the comments section so you guys can have the best chance to pick up all three colorways for retail. And with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what makes the 2002 R so great. Getting things started on the upper of this sneaker, the outer edge as well as the base layer is done up in this jagged edge style, which the protection pack has become so well known for. And I would just like to add that this dark navy suede has a tremendous brushstroke effect to it when you rub your hand back and forth on it. The toe box of this sneaker is comprised of this mallard blue mesh, and surrounding this we do have these thick strips of leather as well as 3M reflective paneling. As we progress up this sneaker, we continue to see more of that mallard blue mesh utilized on the tongue, dark gray laces to provide a pop of contrast, and once we make it to the top of the tongue, we have this dark navy tumbled leather panel which features this hidden exposed foam in the back of it to provide you with a little extra comfort when wearing these on a daily basis. Making up the center of these, we do have of course our enlarged New Balance N logo done in gray and outlined in this white embroidery. Making our way to the heel of this sneaker, we are met with more of that mallard blue mesh, but directly underneath this, we have our white leather paneling with our 2002R branding done in black. The back of this sneaker consists of gray leather, dark navy suede, and to add to the deconstructed look this sneaker already possesses, New Balance opts to leave a portion of the heel cut out in this oxidized style with their logo smack dab in the middle. Directly below the upper of this sneaker, we do have this white end cap midsole, which combines cushion foam as well as a durable polyurethane rim to provide all day support. And right below this, we do have our chalked out or ashy looking outsole done in dark navy. So when it comes to the sizing of the New Balance 2002R, I often recommend to the narrow footers out there to go down half a size in this sneaker due to how wide the toe box is and how wide New Balances are in general. I am a true size 11 and a half, but when I get my New Balances in a size 11, they tend to fit me perfectly. And if you have a wider foot or just an extremely abnormal large foot, you should be good to go true to size with this sneaker. I would not go up in any New Balance sneakers at all due to how wide they are as I just said. Said, but if you do what I said as far as the sizing goes, you should have a very snug yet comfortable fit. Before I wrap up today's video, I just want to give my final thoughts and analysis on the New Balance 2002R protection pack in this dark navy colorway. In my opinion, New Balance knocked this pack completely out of the park. 
I had no clue how they were going to follow up the original protection pack, but I think they did just that and more with this dark navy, mirage gray, and vibrant orange colorway. So let me know down below in the comments section how you guys would rank the three. In my opinion, I think it goes vibrant orange, mirage gray, and then I would have these last. But nonetheless, if you are able to get any of these for retail, I think that's a W in my book. And I'm just really in love with the 2002 R silhouette as of right now. So thank you guys again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, leave me a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because as I stated, we are very close to 5,000 subscribers. And with the help of all of you watching today, we can easily make that goal come into fruition and we can just continue to aim high for many goals to come on this channel as I continue to broadcast my passion of sneakers so thank you guys again for watching the on foot portion of today's video is coming right up and you know i can't leave without saying stay safe stay blessed and i will see you guys on the next video